In La Jeunesse des Formes Vivantes, Rouillet makes another curious statement, a statement, however, that is crucial for the understanding of his entire so often contested and misunderstood micromorphological <laughs> project. La nature réalise um, ce qui d'abord paraît impossible. Elle fait sortir progressivement, comme par des tournants insensibles, les formes organiques des formes moléculaires. Now, taking at face value, this statement would seem to express no more and no less than a form of modern, or perhaps even not so modern, vitalism. The view, namely, that life is something that cannot be explained in terms of physical processes, but involves some sort of more or less mysterious, not ultimately explainable, element of force, the vital. After all, Rouillet observes here and over and over again notoriously insists on imperceptible turns in the development of beings from molecular to organic forms. And this concern is indeed at the core of Rouillet's entire project. Namely, the question of how one state or level, the micromolecular, one relates to the other, the macro level. How do we get from the tiniest elements, atoms, and molecules to something, or rather some being like a fully formed complex <coughs> organism? And Rouillet indeed claims that the, tenta the, the temptation of vitalism or animalism has much deeper justifications. He explicitly and emphatically rejects any merely mechanist explanation. But, and this is what constitutes the challenges um, or the, the main challenge of Rouillet's philosophical approach, for Rouillet, the opposite uh, is equally true. Even while rejecting mechanism, Rouillet also, and no less uh, univocally, rejects vitalism. He emphatically dismisses any reliance on a superphysical or transcendental intervention to explain morphogenesis, any assumption of some principle of life of vita that would ensure and direct the mysterious development from mere randomly connected aggregates of molecules to fully formed and self-functioning organisms. The relationship between micrological and organic forms, the shifts between morphological stages that are at the core of Rouillet's inquiry, transformations, uh, the reality of which, if one were to fast forward them or fast rewind them, would be phenomenologically beyond all doubt, must be explained without giving in to the temptation of vitalism, as strong as this temptation may be. But what then, then, if neither the homme machine nor vitalism provides usable explanations, could be a viable template for embryogenesis? <laughs> 